20 years ago, I had a big idea. <laughs> the idea actually came to me in a moment of clarity when I was out at a bar late at night with a bunch of my friends in Miami. It's a very simple idea, but I cannot overstate the profound impact that this idea had on my life. I traded my own personal story so that other people would have a chance to feel the way that I did that night. Yes. Thank you so much. I have the strongest mother. Right before this, she said, we're counting the minutes, Denise. What channel do we need to watch to see you tonight? <laughs> House on Mango Street changed my life. Yes. And when there weren't accessible Latina mentors for me, I was reading those books like, oh my God, that's me, that's me, that's me. We don't feel like we're Latino enough or American enough. We don't know which side to be loyal to and it's confusing and we feel alone. And I was sick and tired of it and I wanted to tell people you are not alone. This is a shared experience. We need to explain this to our youth that they're growing up in the mainstream culture that does not reward the collectivist thinking from which they come. You're gonna have a chance to change things. Being a leader means having courage, even though you have no idea what's gonna happen. I did 17 years of I don't wanna go in, it's too cold, but the joke was that I was waiting for the water to get warmer. The water never gets warmer. I think we can all agree that we are all cultural beings. Oftentimes when we think of culture, we think of language and we think of food. But this is not about whether Puerto Rican beans are different than Mexican beans. This is about something much, much deeper. As Latinos, we come from a collective ideology where people help each other all the time. It's about community. Can you believe a person that would allow somebody else to mess with their head so thoroughly that she wouldn't even wear her favorite shirt that connects her to her culture? Can you believe that someone would do that? And then right when I was finishing that thought, I was like, I think I know someone just like that. <laughs> My Spanish, sometimes it totally sucks. And sometimes I can actually help someone who can't speak English. And sometimes dancing, food, history, whatever, not enough. But guess what? I own all of it. Every last cent of it. I own it. What in the world was I so afraid of? I was one of those one day, someday people. One day, someday, when every planet in the sky aligns and I have just enough money in my bank account and I'm back to the size six that I was before I had my two kids, that day is the day I will make this movie. You wait, that day I will do it. I love dreamers and I love bold Latina dreamers. Last night, my interview, with you, for me, have to be one of the most incredible moments of my life. Can I just say from the start, you are an inspiration. Oh gosh, me? She's incredible. <laughs> one day I'm gonna make a movie and people are gonna watch it. One day I'm gonna inspire a high school kid that feels so disconnected from their culture and I'm gonna redirect that child into doing something great with their life. I think you're not only my hero, you're all of our hero. I will make sure something happens come hell or high water, and I have a feeling you and I have this in common. There are people in this room right now that are debating whether or not they want to take a great leap of faith, personal, professional. And I'm telling you, the person you will become and the relationships you will have and the difference you will make, you have no idea what's possible. I'm such living proof of that. Want to go back to one? Oh, no, I don't. No. I don't want to jinx it because it really went well. Um, Fantastic. Oh, I have to go up there. You're going down? Yeah. That was awesome. Thanks. How do I get out of here? Awesome.